Hello everyone, KaiJBR here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a very simple but effective saving system with Unity. I'll demonstrate this by creating a form that you can use to sign up and log in. So let's get on with the video. Just a quick note, all of the project is in the GitHub link in the description down below. And to install the project, you go to go to the readme file under the, the link, and you'll see there's a full instruction of how to install it. So after you open the project, you will see that there's a canvas which contain background, sign up form, login form, success. So if you successfully log in or sign up and fail is when you enter the wrong password or email. So now let's create a new script right here and let's name it form and double click to open it up. After you have opened the script, let's delete all the contents so we can start over. So first, let's create a function when after we click the confirm button on the sign up form. So public void sign up. And just like that, we have a function. And now what this function going to do is to put the username and password that we have entered into a list so that we can save it at the end. So let's create two string lists so first is the username so string you square bracket for list username list equal to new string and let's set its length to 100 and but you can set to whatever you like uh, let's also let's create another one and let me rename this to password list and there you go we got two username and password list so now we to get the value from the input box that we have created right here we because I'm using the text mesh pro as you can see right here we need to use the library for that as well so using tm pro and now you if you use public and then you say input you can see that there's a tmp input field which we will name username sign up or sign up username let's rename it sign up username and let's copy this for password as well and now in the sign up we want our username list at the location that we don't know yet will equal to our sign up username dot text and the same thing for password list so will equal to sign up password dot text all right and now to get the location that we want to, to put this in let's create a variable named counter and let's make it equal to zero and in the username list let's put this equal to counter so first it will be location zero in the list which is of course the start of the list and then every time we sign up we will increase the, the counter by one and that's it so we if you create a new account the the counter will be one so it doesn't replace the old one now we want to save the list that we have created so let's detect when the program ends so on call on application at quit we want to go through the list and then save using the our play pref and i'll show you right now so for integer e i equals zero i smaller than username list dot length and i plus plus so we can go through the list and then we use player pref right here and we use the set string and the reason why we use set string is because as you can see right here we got a string key and string value so we use the string key so if we there's a player prep function called player prep wait let me show you right here 
So there's a function called pray of pref dot get key. So it will get the value corresponding to that key. So in our case, we want to set string. So so we want to set the key is the username list a location i that we are going through the list and our value will be our password list also in location i because they are both corresponding in the same location because we add both of them at the same time and that's it and now let's also create our sign up so public void sign up or sign in I'm mistaken sign in or login whatever you like so to make this function we want to check if the username list uh, the username that the user enter does exist in our program that we have saved so to check this first let's go before we quit we want to create another key so let's set integer we get because we just want to have the key let's name this save and let's make it zero or any value you like so void start and let's put this in a mistake in so if has key save we want to create another two variable so if there is a save we want to turn on the login form and turn off the sign up form so public login no game object login form and public game object sign up form and here let's login form dot set active equal true and sign up form dot set active dot set wait sign up form dot set active equal false and after that so if we click the confirm button and sign in we want to check if the username that the user enter does exist in our save program so to do that let's get another input field which now will be the sign in and let's do that real quick so now let's check if sign in username uh, if player pref does has the key so has key and which is we sign in username dot text so it will check if there's a key and if it does then we want to check if the password that the user enter match with the password corresponding to the value so if sign in dot password dot text is equal to player pref so now we know that this key exists let's use the get string because we use set string and let's use the uh, key which is the sign in username dot text and that's it so now we just need to check so if the sign in password text does the same we want to say success and if not will be wrong password slash username and so that's great so we already have the success and fail object right here so let's put them in real quick so success so let's create another two game object and name this s and f for short so s for success and f for fail so s dot set active to true and f dot set active to true if the password doesn't match and that's all we gotta do so now if i save this program and let's drag the form into our canvas you'll see there will be a lot let's remove the script there will be a lot of space that we need to enter so let me do that real quick
After you're done, let's run the program. So let's go to sign up because already I saved data in my in my projects. So I already make a sign up and sign in button. So now to so sign up, let's name this like Kai JPR, which is my name of channel, and let's name this one two three four five six. And here you confirm, you will get the success. So if we done, and then let's replay this. So let's see if it's save or not. Oh, I forget one part. So you also need to put the function that we created in the canvas uh, in our script into our object, our confirm button. So Canva object right here, form and sign up and do the same thing for this confirm button. So canvas form, but this time is sign in. And now this should work. So let's go to sign up, Kai JPR, one, two, three, four, five, six, confirm, okay, done. Let's play it again. And now let's go in, log in. So Kai JPR, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this should be done. So this means it's a success. And now if you replay the program, and this time, so Kai JPR again, but this time you enter some random numbers, it will say wrong username slash password, which in case this is kind of wrong, but it works. So yeah, nice. Oh, a saving system is just as simple. Just a little note, I've been busy with exams and stuff in the previous weeks, so I can't upload that consistently more. But now, I'll try to upload as usual, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye!